As a security professional in your organization, you've spent a lot of time creating policies, and just like you should, you've taken all of those security policies and made them available to everyone on the intranet. However, nobody reads them. Who would like to go through pages and pages and pages of security information if they really, really didn't want to? One of the challenges you have then is how do you make your end users aware of all of the things that you've created in your policy? Well, most of the time, you have mandatory training sessions. There's really no other way to do this. You have to make sure that people show up for training or that you catch them at times when they're in other meetings. Maybe there's a staff meeting every week that everybody has to be at, and you get 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes a week to tell people about the things they should be aware of in your environment. Give a detailed overview, question in it, and answers. This should be something that's interactive. Plus, the people in your organization get to know who you are. And unfortunately, as security professionals, very often we're the people that has to say no. And unfortunately, people don't like it when you tell them no. So as a person, if you show up as a human being and you're explaining to them the reason you're doing some of these things, put some more personal face on this and makes it probably a little bit easier later on for you to be able to enact some of the security requirements that you have in your organization. You need to tell everybody Everybody, what your security best practices are, how to deal with common problems like what happens when you get a virus, what the company policy might be when you have a visitor show up, just so everyone is aware of why these policies are in place and how important they are to maintain the security in your organization. You should also have very, very specific security training for people that have unique environments. Maybe it's someone who is very mobile. You have different security requirements for a laptop that leaves the building than the systems that are inside of the building. There's additional security. Maybe you have increased of the hard drive or other things that go on. And you may want to do this on a department by department basis, especially if the specific security issue is very centered on what that particular department does for your organization.